The act of gift giving is a timeless tradition, and typically both gifter and giftee are expected to be excited about the process. Yet many people just don't like to be on the receiving end of the gift giving ritual, and now we know why, thanks to science. For gift-hating folks, receiving gifts can be an anxiety-inducing situation that provokes complex feelings of guilt, shame, and even low self-worth. For instance, a person in this situation might feel pressured to find a gift that measures up to the one they receive, creating an unwanted sense of obligation to return the favor. Shopping for a gift in return might feel like a nightmare, especially if this individual isn't blessed with a penchant for gift-giving. Merry Christmas, baby. Are you kidding me, Nathan? Did you seriously buy a car without asking me? Similarly, many people find it stressful to respond to well-meaning but entirely out-of-left-field gifts from friends who believe they're much better at picking out presents than they truly are. Surprise! That was a good shirt. This brings me no joy. At all. And while you may appreciate the sentiment and feel grateful for the kind gesture, this does not make it any less uncomfortable when you have to pretend to enjoy a crappy gift. To that end, people who shy away from receiving gifts may do so because they feel guilty or conflicted. People who hate receiving gifts sometimes get trapped in a cycle of guilty thoughts due to feelings of inadequacy or low self-worth. Licensed clinical psychologist Dr. Andrea Bonnier told CNN, We might feel guilty when somebody spends time or money on us because deep down, in some situations, we might not think that we're worthy of it, or like we're not somehow measuring up to what we should be. Dr. Bonnier explains that these individuals might also feel uncomfortable receiving compliments or attention. Receiving gifts, therefore, stirs up the belief that you don't deserve it. What's more, some people feel guilty when receiving gifts if they believe there are strings attached. Can I ask you something? Hmm. You look at that? There was a string attached to my Pop-Tart. In this case, instead of feeling grateful, you might feel like you owe the other person. For example, the gift receiver could see the gift as an attempt to deepen a new relationship or communicate a future favor, causing feelings of indebtedness and obligation. In these circumstances, any gratefulness and positive associations with a gift and gift giver become tainted by guilt. You gave me a cookie, gave you a cookie. Gave me a cookie, got you a cookie. You gave me a cookie, I got you a cookie, man. Your aversion to receiving gifts may also boil down to the disappointment you feel when you receive gifts you don't need or want. If you dislike the gifts you receive, it's understandable to feel misunderstood, inconvenienced, and conflicted. For instance, of the 2,000 individuals who participated in a 2020 survey conducted by one poll, approximately 62% admitted to lying at some point or another about liking and using a gift. Moreover, a Redditor asked why people hated receiving gifts, and one commenter gave some valuable insight. Because I always get something that I don't want or need, but I have to act like it's the greatest gift ever, and then I have to keep it. Thank you so much! Similarly, another user said, I feel guilty if I don't like it. Chances are they've got me something I'll use once, never. Basically, it's hard not to feel disappointed by an unwanted gift, and by extension, the person who gave it to you. When you're put on the spot, it exacerbates these uncomfortable feelings, as you have to outwardly project emotions that don't match how you truly feel to protect the gift giver's feelings and avoid coming off as ungrateful or insensitive. That said, receiving gifts is always a nice reminder that, at the very least, you have people in your life who are thinking of you. If you're someone who hates receiving gifts, remember that gift giving is a thoughtful gesture, and it generally symbolizes someone's care, appreciation, or love towards you. Also, re-gifting is always an option. Well, depending on the gift, that is. Hello, I got you a present. It's a thumb. <laughs> Don't look away. Let the fear wash over you. 